Hi everyone. So because Dewey's is coming up, I thought I would share some of the short books that I have on my physical TBR and I'll also do a short books library haul. So if those of you are wanting to get short books for the readathon, here are some things maybe you can reserve at your local library and pick them up prior to the readathon. Also, um, if you're wondering for ways you can support your local library through the pandemic, the biggest way is actually usage. And while a lot of libraries, including my own, are closed to browsing, I discovered a couple weeks ago that it was actually open for like to go or hold pickups. And so I've decided that I'm going to start utilizing it in that way because I feel like it's extremely important for the community to have a library and to have a free access to books and reading. And the biggest thing I can do is support that through my usage so that my city, county, and state continue to fund our local libraries. I'm gonna start with the library hall in my nice library basket. So the first one I have is a novel set in verse, and this is Chlorine Sky by Mahogany L. Brown. And this was actually blurbed on the back by Elizabeth Oslovedo. It says, Mahogany L. Brown's debut YA novel is an absolute masterpiece. It leaves you breathless. Um, another blurb said, a profound reminder that sometimes the most revolutionary thing a girl can be is herself. So I thought this would be really fun. I also love the cover on this. Um, I'm liking illustrated covers, but I need facial features. I don't like the ones where like there's no eyes or lips or like there's only eyebrows. It kind of disturbs me. This one has been on my TBR on Goodreads for forever. And this is Jenny O'Feal's uh, The Department of Speculation. And I have no idea what this is about. Um... I believe this follows Russian cosmonauts. I believe it was on the Book Riot podcast at some point. I can't remember why I put it on. Um, this is The Buddha in the Attic by uh, the library sticker. Puts the author's name. Oh, uh, Julie Osakas. And this is supposed to be a book following eight um, picture brides or like mail order brides from Japan that moved to San Francisco and kind of an exploration of the American dream. I also got The Bookshop by Florence, by Penelope Fitzgerald. And this is about an older lady who risks her inheritance to open a bookshop in a town that doesn't have a bookshop. And maybe the store ends up being haunted. So that could be a fun option. I've been wanting to read Hong Kong's work for a while, and I think her most notable one is The Vegetarian. Um, and this is um, translated into English from Korean. Um, so I'm hoping I like this. I have not actually run into somebody who has rated it any lower than three stars. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a hit. Um, this is Brave Red Smart Frog, a uh, new book of old tales. I've been in the mood for fairy tale retelling. I picked up a graphic novel. Um, I'm not a huge graphic novel lover, um, but I do love Neil Gaiman. And I also tend to like fairy tale-ish graphic novels or more like graphic memoirs. Um, and this is Snow Glass Apples. I believe this is a retelling of Snow White. Um, and art style for anybody who's wondering. Okay, this is Murder Bot by Martha Wells. I was turned on to this by Mara at Books Like Woe, and I was surprised to see how short it was. So this could be a good readathon read, or I might pick this up now. This is the one I'm most interested in. Um. Dreams from Many Rivers by Margarita Engel. This is a um, Hispanic history told in poems of the United States with illustrations. So it is written and illustrated by um, Hispanic women. Then the last book I got, I've been wanting to read Fred McBachman's work. Um, he is a, is it Swiss author? 
or is it Finland? I can't remember, but um, his work, uh, most of his work is translated into English and I didn't know where to start, but I figured what better time to start than when I'm trying to read short books and that this one is, and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. If you don't think that's the best place to start with his work, please let me know. And on to the short books I have on my physical TBR that I've like pulled aside for this month and the readathon. Um, this one is I Heard the Owl Call My Name by Margaret Caravan. Um, this is a Native American written classic. Um, I believe it was written in the 70s. Um, and it features, and it features the totem pole, which I haven't seen since, um, I was a kid and we lived in Alaska and those were everywhere. Uh, this one I've heard several people talk about as like a very influential book in their life. And this is Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. Um, and not only is it short, but there's also photos throughout. So that should be pretty quick. This one I think I featured on another TBR, and this is Fierce Fairy Tales, Poems and Stories to uh, Stir Your Soul by Nikita Gill. This is one that I think I will read throughout the month kind of at night in bed. I feel like this is a good thing for that one, so I probably won't read it in the readathon. Then I have a couple of adult classics. This is Black Venus by Angela Carter. She's known for her um, fairy tale retellings and carnival-esque um, style books. So I'm hoping I will love this. And uh, this is The Tenth Man by, um, I don't know his first name, but his last name is Green. Um, this is set in a prison where every so many hours they have to kill a person. And he is the one who draws the short straw and he basically sells all of his life's possessions to save his life. Um, so I thought this would be a very interesting exploration. This one is Imaginary Beings. And to be honest, I got it because of the cover, but I love the back of the book. It says, few readers will want or be able to resist this modern bestiary. Here you will find familiar griffons, minotaurs, and unicorns, as well as the monkey of the ink pot and other undeniable curious beasts. Borges cunning and humorous commentary is a sheer delight. He is one of the giants of the 20th century literary who has vastly enriched the textures and vocabularies of our fantasies and speculations. Only Borges could dream the world such intellectual rigor. Um, and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. A couple of children's classics I have is The Wind and the Willow by Kenneth Graham. I have read a portion of this as a child and I've also seen some of the adaptations. This is Peter Pan and Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. I might split this because technically Peter Pan is a book on its own. Peter Pan only takes up this much and the other like 100 pages is Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens, which is I believe the sequel to Peter Pan, which I've seen so many adaptations of Peter Pan, but I've never read the original text in full. Um, so I'm hoping I will love it. And then Black Beauty, I feel like is either a spring or a fall, but I'm hoping it's a spring springtime book. Um, I recently read Shauna McGuire's um, Across the Green Grass Fields and I've never been a horse person but I was absolutely in love with that story and the hoof lens and so perfect time to pick this one up while I'm still in the mood for horse books. This is Single Man by Christopher Isherwood. I believe this follows a gay man in the 1960s in California and kind of the troubles and things he comes into. Um, with his identity. I have been wanting to pick up the Enola Holmes series and this is the first book, The Case of the Missing Marquess. I want to watch the adaptation on Netflix. Um, if you watched it, do you have to read all six books in the series or can I just read this one and see the adaptation? This is like on the longer side but the font is huge so the book itself looks um larger than it is and it's large because it's a middle grade. I have Echo in the Bay uh, by Mata Suguno Ono. 
Um, and I can't remember why I picked this up, but it's short and I'm hoping I like it. I absolutely loved Holly Black's um, The Coral Print series. And this is her short story collection that she published, and it's The King of Elfham Learn to Hate Stories. And I am hoping I love it. I picked this up even before it became um, Barnes and Noble's Books of the Year, but this is World of Wonders. Um, part of me wants to read it this month, and part of me wants to save it for the spring readathon because this is um, nature memoir nonfiction. It has absolutely wonderful illustrations inside. This book has been all over the internet. This is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Tozaku Kajiguchi. Um, and this is a book set at a cafe where you can time travel, but you have to get back before the coffee gets cold or you become a ghost forever. And I've been wanting to pick up some of Donald Ryan's books. And so I have two. I have All We Shall Know. And then I have From a Low and Quiet Sea. Um, I believe this one follows um, a, a family dealing with infertility. So that might be heartbreaking. But... I don't know. I've not heard anything about this one. I believe this is his most recent um, book that is out. And then I have another um, nonfiction book. And this is This Book Will Make You Kinder by Henry James and Garrett, which is um, a look into empathy with little short cartoons um, that are dispersed throughout. And to be honest, I think the world needs a little bit more kindness right now. Those are some of the short books I have on my TBR and uh, library book haul because I do find that I like short books. I find that an author who can compose their thoughts concisely and doesn't write more than what the story is needed, I tend to prefer that to big flowery um, writing. I like short and concise. And um, I'm hoping that I will have a fun rest of the month of reading short books. And I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.